Well, a dream comes true. Now, many youngsters play the guitar, but South Auckland's John Anderson is extra good at the guitar. Joseph's only been learning a year. Uh, already he's the winner of a big inter-school music contest and he's playing in a pub band. Joseph was inspired to take up the guitar when the stars of the show Buddy came along to his school. And so Jim Mora arranged for Joseph to meet his hero, the star of the show, John Kempt. <laughs> It's Buddy in Auckland, and just seeing the show is the highlight of the year for a would-be star, Joseph Anderson from Papa Toe Toe. Excuse me, Joseph, where was the Paul Holmes program? He's not sure what to expect, Joseph, apart from a good show. Let's go! Joseph has a bigger thrill coming. We take the Andersons backstage to meet current buddy John Kemp. You know about these, eh? How are you? All right. Pretty soon, Joseph is getting some professional tuition. That's very impressive. He's really, that's good. That is impressive. We catch up with Joseph again a few days later. Murphy's Bar in downtown Auckland, a Sunday afternoon, and the band is cooking. Well, stewing, I suppose, because they're Irish. It's a good crowd, but it's discerning as well. Joseph demonstrates he's learned Peggy Sue okay. But the song that gets the crowd on his side is a real guitar hero song. An old one to Joseph. It was recorded 15 years before he was born. But great riffs don't die, they just get played away. It's Jimi Hendrix's Purple Haze, courtesy of Joseph Anderson, age 10. I really like to be a famous guitarist like Jimi Hendrix is. Um, I won't settle for anything less, really. You don't see many 10-year-olds in pubs, but Joseph's not being led astray. He just drinks Coke and mums along to keep an eye on him. won't agree with him playing in the pub but he only does it every now and again and where else would a kid of his age get the experience he's getting playing with guys like this you know joseph will go a long way with music because he's got the enthusiasm and uh the, the courage he just seems to be uh, a complete natural joseph's only been playing a year already he's won a music contest in auckland where every primary and intermediate school sent along a musician that's nice but rock and roll is even nicer the best thing, though, is getting an encore and um, someone coming up to you and um, shaking their, your hand. That's really great. That's awesome. I reckon that's totally cool. I've seen him around other guitar players and it's like, how do you do that one? What are you doing there? Why do you put your fingers there? And it's yeah, that inquisitive it's... mind, you know, that has really helped in progress. Trouble is, Steve, that his history forgets who taught the famous guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> So Joseph is on his way, and he's keen to learn what show business has in store. I think it, you know, it definitely has its ups and downs, that's for sure. But if you just keep persisting, um, things come around your way eventually. You know, just keep bashing on the door. That's, that's, that's my philosophy. Thanks, says Joseph, but in the meantime... Can you teach me that intro on, um, what's it called? That'll be that, yeah. So you don't leave. You know it's a lie, cause I hey, will be the day. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, it was good. Fantastic. Now, finally tonight, thank you very much to the children. Some children tonight wrote to us again to the children at Room 1 at Rarimu Avenue School in Whangarei and, uh, Whangarei, and they sent me some lovely letters uh, about Guy Fawkes. You see, here's some of the letters. See, the nice thing about letters from children is they put a very nice, pretty board around it. Do you see? And I think we should all do that with our letters because it cheers a person up who gets it. And the children put little pictures in as well, which enhance the words. I think we should do that too. Anyway, these letters about Guy Fawkes and whether Guy Fawkes should be banned. Now, of all the letters that came in, 11 children in Room 1 at Rarimu Avenue School in Whangarei, 11 children are politically correct and they want the fireworks banned 
Six think sensible use of fireworks is fun. But maybe Paul Solomon has the answer. This is Paul Solomon's letter. I hope you can see it a bit there. It's not too... There. There you go. Maybe Paul Solomon's got the answer. He recommends 3D shades to keep safe from skyrockets. And he spells shades S-H-A-D-Z. Well, well done, Paul. You're obviously a problem solver. Thank you for your letters. That's Holmes tonight.